Hello. That was fucking creepy, was it? What's up, guys? Look what I'm playing. I hope you guys have. I hope you all got the game last night. Uh, GameStop or wherever you decided to get it. Best Buy, Walmart, fucking Kmart, Black Market, some black dude up the street. But you know that's not racist, so I'm. That's okay to say that. But anyway. I am freaking loving this game. Right now I'm using the UMP 45 with I believe rapid fire. I believe it's like the default class that you get. Like uh, because I I think I'm only like level 3 at this match. This is one of my very first matches. I can't remember the name of this map. And I don't remember what perks are on here, but I know I have rapid fire on the UMP 45 right here. And my first impressions of this game. Um the guns sound really weird. Um, quick scoping is really fun. Um, this last night, this is my one of my first matches. Right now, I'm level 15, and I have unlocked the obviously the Barrett 50 cal, and I have unlocked the L96A1 and the Dragonov. The Bear 50 cal is amazing when you put quick draw and you put sleight of hand on, and that's the quick draw and sleight of hand. You, it's pretty much the basic quick scoping class, and another way is that I mean the Dragon Off is just like the Dragon Off in you know Black Ops, COD 4. It's gonna take two shots to kill you unless it's a headshot. You might get lucky and get in one hit. But the Bear 50 cal, very powerful. I every time that I've shot at someone and connected, it was always a one hit kill. Um, the L96 A1. Probably nine times out of ten, one shot. Bear at 50 cal, ten times out of ten for so far. I mean, if you get like a hit marker, like say if you hit his leg for some reason, uh, you'll probably get a hit marker. But most of the time, you will kill him one hit with the Barrett 50 cal. Now I tried using the ACOG scope for the on the Barrett. It's okay, but it's eh. I didn't really use the ACOG scope much in Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops. So I mean, I'm not a big ACOG fan. I I mean, yeah, I never really used the ACOG in any gun. To be honest with you. But I mean, quick scoping is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to see what everyone else does with this game. You know, funny things. You know, people did all kinds of creative things with Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. And so I can't wait to see what this game brings to the community. This is um. And what's cool about it is that it's a new company designing the game sledgehammer they did an amazing job the only thing is that they um the, the, the kill streaks the perks you know they're kind of confusing but it's kind of laid out like cod 4 you had a lot of perks to choose from so you had a lot of different you know combinations of the different things that you could come up with and What's really cool about this game is that it I was in a match and I was curious to figure out why there was this little like film camera logo like on um, like when you're in the pre when you're in your your pregame during a um waiting for your match to start up. And it said on. I'm like, what is that supposed to stand for? So I backed out, I checked out what I, like what was there to select for for like options and different stuff. Something called a vault. So I went into vault and it says Watch, it said something about, and it's a theater mode. It's like, I can't, I was like, oh my god, now I'm like, because every time I record, I, it, for some reason, I can't, it's hard to record a game for me when I'm, when I am recording because it's under pressure. And I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I do better because I did, I got so many better gameplays on Black Ops because I was able to go back and record them. And not feel like under pressure, so I was able to be able to relax and stuff like that. I don't know, it's just me. But um, this game, I really don't have a great KD. I don't even, I don't really care the score. But I'm letting you guys look at the game. I don't know if any of you guys have gotten the game. Uh, you know, post a comment in the section below. Let me know in a message. You know, like the video. You don't have to favorite it because I mean it's not the best video, but you know, give it a like because it's Modern Warfare 3. And it's, I, I cannot wait to see what this game brings to the community and how it changes everything. And I went to midnight last night at my local GameStop. 
There was over 200 people, and I um, I was at the front of the line, but it was pretty friggin' cold out. And you know, then I'm gonna put some small little videos at the end of this video, so make sure to watch it of our midnight release. We were playing in a trailer, and I can't even remember how cold it was outside. It was probably like um like 40 something degrees with a wind chill it was ridiculous and excuse me I'm eating um but yeah everyone we set up the xboxes we did a huge land party we were doing I can't remember what the map was but we had a little tournament you know at the end the winner got I think a $25 gift card and a shirt or something then they did some raffles and then the midnight release happened so yeah it was pretty much a basic midnight release. I'm sure every GameStop was packed, like it always. It says that, you know, we got the same, pretty much the same crowd that we got from Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops, eh, it's alright, but, you know, Modern Warfare is like a series. The Modern Warfare series itself is a huge series, and it's one of the best series. Because Black Ops, people were so iffy about, and because there was just so much wrong with it, I think. And not to say there was nothing wrong with uh, Modern Warfare 2, there was a shitload of stuff wrong with it, but I really hope that, you know, that the Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward are behind this game 110% and watching for glitches, you know, people hacking. I'm interested to see how they deal with the leaderboard issues because you typically, like, the first week the game is out, um, the hacks, the aimbots, the whatever. The care package glitch, I mean, whatever it may be, it, it comes into effect and it ruins the game for about a month, and everyone gets tired of it, and I've known, I've, I know people that have returned it because of that, and it's like, you're missing out on a great game, but then again, you know, a couple weeks, maybe months, a new game is always going to have little bugs, it's what happens when you release a new game, you, you release it, people and you let the and what the game designers and the companies want to do is have the community find the problems and that's what they're doing they send out what they think or they that they're satisfied with and then they correct it as they go like with black ops did they have they had multiple updates on xbox i'm not pretty sure if they had it on ps3 or not but, I mean, it was enough to keep the game going because there wasn't so many more, there wasn't a lot of glitches like, you know, COD 4 is completely done right now with hacks and stuff because every lobby you get into, it's like, oh, I got my hacks from slash whoever. And it's annoying because one, it ruins clips for people that are trying to get a decent montage out. And it's just, and, and it, it's all over your screen and it's different colors and rainbow color. I don't know. It's just annoying. But, um, this, this interesting perk right here, I mean, it's um, a death streak. I guess it's called juice. And what it is is that if you die, I know, God forbid, I try, I'm, I'm like lost in this map and I have no idea where people are spawning. So I'm just kind of running around looking for people as they come to me but I guess the perk what it does is that it's like right there it says it makes you sprint more faster for like four seconds and I really don't see like the need in sprinting faster because, because I would probably take more cover if I was like okay four deaths let's calm down a little bit so um I'm psyched for this game uh, I haven't really played all the maps yet. I'm trying to, you know, get some couple good gameplays. I want to get a good quick scope uh, gameplay for you guys. Uh, preferably with the L96, maybe the Barrett. I'm, it's going to be hard to get one with the Dragon off because, you know, you get dropped pretty easy in this game. And, I mean, I think just like the, uh, this, the UMP rapid, rapid Fire is pretty much as powerful as the UMP Silence. Was in Modern Warfare 2. And the kill streaks are awesome. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. I know I'm not in the top three, but hey, it's my first time. I hope you guys enjoy the game. If not, follow me for different game for uh, different commentaries. And I'm out. This is PS3 Gamer. Have a good day.